And in today's video, we're going to be talking about X-Men. Yeah, I totally did that wrong. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome to Cinema Drinking Buddies. I'm Matt, and he's Gio, and on this channel, we watch movies and we drink. Cheers. Cheers. And in today's video, we're drinking screwdrivers, and if you want to learn how to make it, stick around to the end of the video, and we'll show you how. And uh, we're talking about X-Men. Yeah. Good Marvel movie. Yeah. Not an MCU movie. No. But it's a Marvel movie. So, how did you like X-Men? Of course, I watched this a few times already, and I enjoyed the practical effects. Some parts CGI and part practical effects was actually pretty, like, it held up well. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some CGI where I was like, wow, that's pretty bad. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty well. Pretty yeah. good. You? The movie was all right for me. Um, this was, I think this was the second time I had seen it. I wasn't, like, a huge, like, really into Marvel and comic books at the time this movie came out. Oh, okay. So, like, I didn't see it for the first time until maybe, like, I don't know, five or six years ago. Oh. So this was the second time I'd seen it. And, um, I mean, it, it was all right for me. You could definitely tell, like, what, like, time period the movie was made from, like, the effects and mm -hmm. some of the action scenes and, uh, like, even, like, the clothes some of them wore. Oh, well, yeah. I feel like it was kind of a dated movie. Really? Yeah. I enjoyed the, um, like, one part that I, I found that the CGI worked really well was um, when uh, Wolverine, his claw came out when he was uh, at that. Oh, like at that bar scene. Bar, yeah. Yeah, bar scene that he came out. I thought that CGI was that, really well. That was a cool scene, yeah. So, but then there are the scenes like uh, where the bullet goes to the head and then uh, the other one where uh, uh, the fish guy. You mean Toad? The, sen the senator. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Or when he came out of the water, that, that CGI was pretty bad. Yeah, that was a weird scene. <laughs> that, was, so, that was a weird scene just in general. But, I mean, for the most part, I guess they didn't really bother me. Like, the not as good as what we're used to effects. Oh, now? Um, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I think I guess for, I think for the time, they were good. Mm -hmm. But what we're used to now is completely different. I mean, that's that's to be expected, you know, for yeah. well, especially 20 with years like, ago. Uh, high quality hd now with 4k mm -hmm. tv and you can just see every little bit of yeah 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 they, they have to make sure it's good or people will be mm -hmm. spotting that like that i guess and we're going to be kind of getting into like plot points here mm -hmm. so spoilers going forward yeah. i told you before that i kind of had a beef with this movie yeah and i was like what do you mean i feel like the way that the movie set up wolverine's character logan slash wolverine's character mm -hmm. at the beginning of the movie kind of contradicts what his character does later in the movie because early in the movie he's like he seems like this guy he's like out for number one you know mm -hmm. like he's just out for himself he doesn't trust anyone and then when he and rogue end up at the school i feel like he was just very quick to trust them like remember um, he went like even when rogue took off he went and found her and was like hey you know we need to go back you know we can trust these people mm -hmm. like and i and i i remember watching that i'm like well, I mean, yeah, he can trust them, but I feel like just the way that they set his character up at the beginning, just someone like him wouldn't be so quick to trust someone like that. Well, see, see the way, and I understand your point there, but the way I saw it is him not really trusting him, just him have that uh, similarity that he's a mutant and he found other mutants like yeah. him. Um, and then they're willing to take him in the school that has a bunch of kids there. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's, Either it's a cult or something really good. but yeah. <laughs> So that's why And when he went back to find Rogue and saying we can go back to him, he didn't really trust him. He's like, I think they can help us. Mm -hmm. And because they, from what the beginning of the movie set up, they're both alone. They're both loners, basically. Yeah. The fact that they can go back and not really trust him, but just like maybe they can help us. Maybe they can find some part of us. Mm -hmm. And that's how I saw it. I get that. I guess maybe trust is the wrong word then, but I guess he sort of... Like welcomed too easily? Yeah, just sort of accepted everything mm -hmm. a little bit too easily. Honestly, that was my biggest beef with the whole movie. Yeah, I just, think this was like this was supposed to be take over like, what, three days, three, four days? So, yeah, yeah. I can see how. Yeah. I mean, I like the characters. Like, I, I was never... Did you watch the cartoon when you were little? The X-Men cartoon? Yeah, the animated series and also Evolution. It's like another cartoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't watch the cartoon. Like I said, I didn't really get into it until I was um, like much older, like mm -hmm. already in my twenties. 
He, I think at one point, um, Cyclops made a comment about the, the yellow spandex. Yeah. I LOL'd. Because I had forgotten a lot of the characters I had just seen at once. So it was kind of neat to see, obviously, Wolverine. You had uh, Jean Grey. Yep. And what is her, like, is she just Jean Grey or is she, like... Uh, she's Jean Grey. She's just Jean Grey? Yeah, she doesn't have a... Like a hero name? Yeah. She has uh, the Phoenix, which is an alter ego. Yeah, but she wasn't the Phoenix yet in this one. Mm-mm. Oh, that's the one that just came out, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, has that. Uh, mm-hmm. And the third one, I haven't seen the new one yet. I haven't seen it either. Um, but yeah, so that's like her alter ego. Yeah, they have a Rogue, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Mystique, Magneto, Storm, S- Storm, uh, Sabretooth, Toad. You had like the side characters, Iceman, which was Bobby. Bobby. The to do with the that can create ice oh like the the guy who was into rogue or yeah yeah pyro which is the fire guy mm-hmm. kitty kitty's the one that ran through walls mm-hmm. so it's like a small scene and then jubilee she's the one with the yellow jacket those are the only ones i know i know there's others but that's why oh yeah there's like there's like a bunch of them aren't there mm-hmm. but yeah the only ones that mm-hmm. i've seen is is this one and then the one that came right after it x2 yeah yeah and logan like, those are the only X-Men movies that I've actually seen. So, if we do more of these, which, you know, obviously would be cool. It'll be like a first time viewing for you. So yeah. yeah. It starts off with, Ro- or actually it starts off with Magneto when he was a kid mm-hmm. uh, in a concentration camp. Like, to start off a little bit, they were doing uh, X-Men Origins. Remember with Wolverine? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, that wasn't a very good movie. But they had, like, so much potential with that movie. And I was really ecstatic because they were doing that one. And they were supposed to be doing Magneto mm-hmm. Origins, which kind of X Men First Class did. And they did a good job. Well, anyway, so it starts off with that one. From there, uh, it cuts to Rogue and kissing and then stealing whatever life force he had. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it goes to basically Logan helping her. And yeah. then from there, they meet the whole team. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Magneto wanting to turn everybody in New York City a mutant. So, like, you, you meet Rogue and Wolverine just kind of through their own little thing, and they sort of wind up at this school. Yeah. And that's where, I guess, they kind of learn about, like, the big, like, the main problem of the movie, mm-hmm. which is Magneto, like you said, trying to turn everyone. Yeah. The movie isn't necessarily about them, but... I guess the main focus of the movie is on them and they kind of get caught up in what Xavier is trying to do and, Mm -hmm. and all of that. So it was, it was kind of an interesting approach to it that they just sort of these characters who are kind of, especially rogue discovering this like mutation that she has. Mm -hmm. Obviously Logan's knows about his or has known about his for what did I say? 15 years or um, or did he or he lost 15 years uh, there was something in the movie about 15 years i don't know yeah <laughs> you know they just sort of fall into the stuff that's going on apparently magneto knew about rogue because he's yeah, like, he was he's after, her. after her. Mm-hmm. yeah like before they ever showed up at xavier's and the whole time they thought they were after logan or wolverine yeah and then they're like oh no i'm not after you i'm after her they're like oh my gosh like the the cage fight scene <clears throat> and that, that's one of the things that made me laugh so you know like when he was hitting the guy mm-hmm. and it was making like a metal sound mm-hmm. i was like i'm pretty sure he's not gonna make a metal sound when he hit another bone yeah probably not <laughs> <laughs> the whole them trying to get like all the mutants to register mm-hmm. um that reminded me a lot of uh captain america civil war oh okay wait wait how <laughs> yeah, like, kind of like I remember the whole premise of that movie was that um, they wanted the superhero people to kind of make themselves known yeah, and out sign- themselves yeah and like sign off on these accords mm-hmm. and that's kind of what they were doing here and oh in the beginning oh, okay yeah I see what you mean yeah I kind of like the whole premise of like the, the political side of the yeah. movie I guess is, is really what which was like the almost kind of like the beginning of the movie but they mm-hmm. just did a small part of it so like Magneto it's kind of like Tony Stark. Oh. Or, no, he's like Captain America. Yeah. And, he doesn't want and, He doesn't want to. Yeah, and Picard is like Tony Stark, except Magneto just, took it a lot further than yeah. Captain America ever would. And uh, Xavier just didn't really care. It's like, you want us to know, you don't want us to know, then fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're here. 
deal with it. I think it was a good introduction to the X Men because, like, this is definitely like the way this movie was set up. It's definitely set up like so that there'll be more movies. When you do something like that, I think you have to make the first movie be able to be standalone Mm -hmm. in case it doesn't do well. I think this is the first Marvel movie that did very well. Yeah. Or a comic book movie. Because I know they had uh, Blade, which is also a Marvel movie, but that Mm -hmm. not as known as this one. Mm -hmm. I think this one basically did really well. Well, Blade, wasn't that like... Was Blade rated R? Yeah. That's that's probably why. Yeah. But it was especially during a time where comic book movies weren't exploding. Yeah. So... And now it's like every movie is a comic book movie, yeah. basically. And this was before Lord of the Rings, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. He was in Lord of the Rings too? Well, no, I'm, I'm thinking uh, Ian McKellen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this was before Lord of the Rings. So like, Gandalf. People, I guess, because I was like, when I saw this movie, I was like, oh, Gandalf. <laughs> but like, no, it's you watch Lord of the Rings, you're like, oh, Magneto. Like, yeah. that's, that's actually how it should be. So we'll eventually have to watch some more and... We'll see how how those go. We'll watch the next one. The next one has a lot more characters. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't really remember the second one that much. I liked Logan. I remember I liked Logan. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this will be pretty good. Those are our thoughts on uh, Mm X-Men. And as per tradition with the final video of the month, uh, we'd like to go back and talk about what was our favorite movie. So of the Friday movies that we've done, we've watched obviously this one, X-Men. We watched Inception and we've watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. So, of those four movies, which was your favorite? You know, this has to be a tie. It has to be a tie between Inception and Excellent Adventure. Yeah. It's just... I'm trying to think about which one would be the best, but it's hard It's to hard to compare because they're two totally different movies. Yeah, I know. The plot of Inception mm-hmm. is what really got me. I, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the, being able to go into different levels of dreams mm-hmm. and then what they can do with that. And then Excellent Adventure is a a very good like turn off your movie. brain movie yeah. <laughs> so or not even because you still learn in that mm-hmm. movie so, you know what i'm gonna go with inception inception yeah i'm gonna go with that i gotta go with inception too honestly it's a favorite movie of mine it's been a favorite of mine since the first time i saw it the whole concept behind that movie being able to like share your dreams with someone else and affect reality by what you do in these dreams mm-hmm. is just such a to me at least a mind-blowing concept I just, um, yeah, I just, that's a favorite movie of mine. So, yeah, I got to yeah. say Inception as well. So, that is our review, our favorite pick of the month. And subscribe. Is that not right? No, that's right. Oh, yeah, we want them to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Subscribe, like, comment, stay at the, um, at the end of the video, and then we'll show you how to make a screwdriver. A what? A screwdriver. Oh, yeah. It sounded like you said a screwdriver. Oh, a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, bye. Bye. Today we are making a screwdriver. So we need to start off with a glass of ice, two ounces of vodka, and fill up the rest with orange juice. And there's your screwdriver. And don't forget to garnish. <laughs>